Hi everyone, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well. Today, I really want to share with you six books that have supported me on my healing journey. I've been navigating a lot of things with my personal life, been in therapy for like over two years. And so I really wanted to share with you six books that have helped me and supported me and that hopefully will support you as well. Let's start with, I think the easiest one to read, which is poetry. On my healing journey, there's been times where I had no motivation to do anything. I had very little energy. I needed a lot of rest a lot of recovery, a lot of just feeling my emotions and journaling and at times it did feel daunting and it did feel scary to grab like a big book. So on those days where I just genuinely don't want to grab a big book or read a lot, I'll grab a poetry book and this one is one that I've really appreciated and really loved and has really supported me. It's called Inward by Young Pueblo. The perfect kind of book to just like have whenever you want a little pick me up but you don't want to read a whole book or have to read a whole chapter or multiple pages. I found poetry is really, really can be extremely healing and I love how simple his writing style is. So yeah, Inward by Young Pueblo for those days where you really don't want to grab a big book and you don't really want to read, you just more so want a pick me up. Then I've got more of a dialogue spirituality book, which is The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle. I have read this many years ago and I still go back to it every now and then. I love how it's written in small portions about different topics um, that encompasses the healing journey or more so the human condition um, and how to show up with more presence and I love that there are so many questions in the book so that it could definitely be questions we're having on our path and also a book just like this one that can be grabbed at any point and you don't need to read the whole book to get the point of it and you can just go to whichever chapter is resonating with you in this moment that you actually want to be curious about. The next book I want to share with you is a fiction book and it's The Midnight Library by Matt Haig. He's written a lot of mental health books, self-help books and this one is just like a really beautiful fiction that has so many messages ingrained in it. I just love this book. It talks about Nora, a um, girl who's struggling with depression, and she goes to the Midnight Library, and there, basically, she'll be able to go through the different books uh, in the library, and each book is basically like propulsing her into uh, one possible life that she could have chosen or she would have chosen and she tries out all these different possibilities and, and lives that could or would happen in case she took this or that decision at this or that point in her life and it just gave like a really be beautiful perspective on life and our responsibility for the choices we make and also the infinite amount of possibilities that are available to us um, at any point and that we don't need to continue living a repetition of our past or our current present if it's not making us happy we can choose to engage differently with life with people with situations with our work with our partners with our pets with our parents with how we read with what we wear so it's really beautiful reminder that all the possibilities are here and it's just up to us to make the decision that is right for us right now and that is actually serving who we want to be and become. Yeah, I love this book. It's such a fluid read. I read this like on a holiday by myself on a little solo trip in nature and it was so beautiful to read. A fiction book like really have the feel that I'm reading a fiction book because it is and at the same time being able to relate so much to the character and some of the teachings in this book yeah if you're into fiction and feel like spirituality or self-help books or scientific books can be a little bit daunting for you 
Um, this is a great like kind of merge of fiction and self-help. The next book I want to share with you guys is The Body Keeps the Score, uh, Mind, Brain and Body in the Transformation of Trauma by Bessel van der Kolk. This book took me a long time to read. However, it was one of the books that I learned the most out of. It really talks about the effects of trauma and how it repeats into adulthood, how um, certain types of traumas, especially those happening in childhood, can not be even part of our conscious mind, meaning like we've actually not, we actually don't even remember, both because it was so traumatic and also because our brain was still in a developmental stage where the memory part of the brain was not fully constructed and developed yet, which like explains why we're actually not remembering now as adults. It's extremely fascinating phenomenon. Um, and it actually is very eye-opening to the fact that there might be a lot of people or if not everyone has some sort of repressed trauma that isn't aware of that we are carrying in our lives and this book as much as it's scientific has a lot of knowledge a lot of research a lot of understanding of the anatomy of the brain and the nervous system and how it responds to traumatic events it's a book that's made me understand certain behaviors in myself certain reactions in myself and has just led to so much more self-compassion it just helped me really get to know myself better and understand certain phenomenons and also take responsibility for when i show up a certain way while at the same time being compassionate and understanding why i'm acting in a certain way and also recognizing what happened to me certain things were not my fault. I was a kid. I was not able to just leave my family because, you know, I wasn't self-sufficient. So it just like talks a lot about like childhood abuse and trauma. And it also talks a lot about different kinds of trauma that can happen later on in life, whether it's abuse or some sort of accident or traumatic event. Uh, like circumstance based or people that go to war it really works for all kinds of trauma and it also mentions although it does focus on more of like the big traumas it does talk as well of about like let's let's say like small emotional abuse which little by little and repeated it does create trauma as well just not in this like obvious one event or two events kind of way for me it really helped me when i became aware of my trauma and i started remembering it i wanted to understand what had been playing out and what was still playing out in my day to day understanding how memories of trauma can be forgotten for years decades even a lifetime and how i can show up for myself in a way where i'm actually integrating that trauma integrating trauma means like expressing emotions uh, recovering safety and connection in the body that book like just gave a lot of tools for that it has a whole chapter about yoga because uh, yoga can be used in a very therapeutic way. It talks about EMDR, which is eye movement desensitization, about different like techniques that have been, research has been done on the effect on healing specific kinds of trauma and PTSD. One thing that we need to remember is that when we experience trauma, it's not, of course, the event can be problematic and should be called out if there is like disrespectful behavior abuse that should be always called out however as someone who has grown up with trauma trauma what actually is is for me is learning now how to live with ptsd and how to manage it so that it's not so intense in a way that it leads my life or like controls some of my decisions or influences um, important decisions in my life and the way I should choose to act and show up uh, but instead gain agency and responsibility and independence 
in my life on a physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual level. All right, that was the big facts and research around trauma. Very, very valuable book. All right, onto a lighter one, or quite different one, is a spiritual book, or more so, it's called a wisdom book, called The Mastery of Love, um, A Practical Guide to the Art of Relationship by Don Miguel Ruiz. Um, this book, I love this book, I think I read it two or three times. I love how simple it's written. It's very written in a very concise way, but very truthful way. And it talks about different kinds of relationships and how we engage in love and what love actually is. And also how we can actually love ourselves and really show up for ourselves. There is a lot of like things that we assume or see as being love, like self-sacrifice and um, not having boundaries. It's like this, like, oh, I'm just unconditionally loving, whereas it's actually not at all what it means. And it leads to actually a lot of self-rejection, re which is the opposite of love. So being able, this book like is really good um, to discern what is love and what actually isn't love in the media are because obviously the ideas around love are sometimes very inaccurate or irrealistic or just can be very easily misinterpreted and it can be also just like the role models we've had in our lives and the relationships model we've seen in our lives growing up might not always project healthy behavior and respect. This is like really, really a good book about how to love others, but also very first thing to do is how to love ourselves and what loving ourselves actually mean. Reparenting ourselves, like actually being there for ourselves, stand up for ourselves, having our backs in all areas of our lives in the way that we want to have our back. Okay, this is the last book of the video and this is the last book that i have recommended to everyone who's dm'd me about what books to read on the healing journey or how to deal with trauma and and healing the inner child and and setting boundaries and having better habits and understanding your patterns this is the bible of a practical bible of all of this work and it's called how to do the work by dr nicola Perra, who's also known as the holistic psychologist she's got a podcast as well called the sound healer soundboard self healer soundboard story uh, which is very lovely and addresses all of these topics as well if you don't feel like reading the book listen to the podcast it's also awesome it says recognize your patterns heal from your past and create yourself so it's a really really awesome book it talks about so many of important aspects of the healing journey um, about recognizing that you are your own best healer of course you can seek support in therapists and different kinds of healing techniques and practices but eventually like you are the one who's gonna have to do the work no one is gonna do it for you becoming aware of your different patterns the theory of trauma the trauma body so like how trauma gets stored into the body mind body healing practices the power of belief so like how uh, certain beliefs are negative and limiting beliefs that are not getting us to where we want to be and how can more positive beliefs actually lead us in a better direction and how can we use that um, meet your inner child ego stories trauma bonds i've talked about that on the podcast boundaries reparenting emotional maturity and interdependence this is extremely practical it's just such a human book the author has shared so much of herself in this book it just like resonated so much it just felt so real and authentic and human while at the same time being extremely valuable and practical for anyone who read this to really have tools you can use in your everyday life that's really like over time gonna make your life so much better. There are more books that are on my pile to read um, that are specifically around trauma and healing. All of these have just like helped me at different stages of my own personal healing journey. So yeah, I hope that 
if you do choose to pick any of them they will support you wherever you are and you'll get better and you'll feel better and you'll start ch choosing better actions where you feel more loved and cared and respected let me know if you've read any of these books or if there are any books that you'd like to recommend in the comment sections please do i would love to hear your recommendations and the books that have helped you on your journey and that's it. And that's it. <laughs>